New at 6, May Oral candidate Felicia Moore returning campaign money from a supporter who claimed every Atlanta mayor since 1979, all of whom were black, were corrupt. 11 Alive's Doug Richards is in Piedmont Park right now to explain how this started with an Instagram post that drew the ire of Moore's top opponent. Well, Jeff, this was a moment that Felicia Moore herself admitted uh, was a misjudgment on her part. She certainly tried to walk it back, but her uh, main opponent in the mayor's race uh, was disinclined to make it easy on her. This did not come from a third party. This was a post by Felicia Moore's campaign. Really, Atlanta? This is not what our city represents. Kasim Reed's campaign had already created video messages which played on a truck adjacent to an event where Reed and some of his supporters denounced Felicia Moore's Instagram post. For more than 40 years now, and during that time, we have never had a mayor that has a conscience. The post, which we recorded moments before Moore's campaign took it down, shows Moore with a man identified as Lee Clavenger. His social media posts are pro-Trump and anti-Obama. In the video with Moore, he said all Atlanta mayors since 1979 were not interested in anything except running their own pockets. Seconds later, Moore accepted his endorsement. Lee Clevenger stood next to Felicia Moore and in front of her said that every mayor who happens to be black was corrupt. Reed says the statement smeared Atlanta mayors that included Maynard Jackson and Andrew Young who never faced corruption charges. And if I was standing by somebody while they were saying it, I would have corrected them. Through a spokeswoman, Moore told us it was an unfortunate statement by that constituent, and I should have corrected him or walked away. As everyone in Atlanta knows, I certainly do not share his beliefs about most of our past mayors, nor those he shared on social media. I apologize to anyone hurt by that post. Moore also said uh, in a statement that if Reed is going to play what she called the guilt by association game, then she would remind voters that Reed himself also has issues with associates uh, from his previous mayoral administration who have been caught up in a corruption investigation. Count the votes in a week. Back to you. Oh, yeah. Maybe chilly outside, but politics warming up, Doug. And I know. You are looking forward to covering the next week, and we will see what voters decide to do in the city of Atlanta.